Welcome to Alex. In this video, we're going to talk through how Alex works as well as what to expect on your first days of class. Alex is a personalized way to learn at your own pace. It's going to figure out the topics you already know and then personalize to find the right path to success through the rest. The first few times you log into Alex, you might see some of these little pop-ups. Those are just to help you navigate around your student account and familiarize yourself with the homepage. The very first thing you need to do in Alex before you can jump into your assignments is take the tools tutorial. The tools tutorial is going to show you how to use our tool palette in order to enter answers into Alex. Because we're not a multiple choice based system, we really want to ensure that you're familiar with the tools palette and how to utilize it. Now, depending on your course, it's going to get more specific with the questions. In this case, it's asking me to edit a chemical equation. If I'm in a math course, it might ask me to enter an algebraic expression or use a graphing tool. In this case, it's also going to teach me how to use the Alex calculator. I'm going to skip the rest of this tutorial so I can show you what the initial knowledge check is going to look like, but make sure you take your time to really ensure that you know how to use the tool palette. The next thing in Alex that you need to complete before you can jump into your assignments is the initial knowledge check. The initial knowledge check is really important because it sets the tone and personalization of the course. Before I jump in and show you what the initial knowledge check looks like, I just want to tell you a little bit more about it. The initial knowledge check is a series of 25 or less adaptive questions, meaning it's going to try things throughout your course to see what you already know and what you have yet to learn. That initial knowledge check is then going to personalize a path for you afterwards of how to get through the rest of the course. So you really want to stay focused and not get distracted on this. You also want to make sure you have a paper and pencil ready to help you out. You do not want to get any help from others since we're trying to personalize the system to meet your needs. You don't want to get help from outside sources and you want to take your time and try your best. Again, you're not supposed to come into the course knowing all of this material, so don't fret if you see something that you're not familiar with. In this case, I just started the initial knowledge check, and you'll see that this is my first question that it's asking me. If I don't know the answer to this question, I can click the I don't know button, but I would be careful to say that you should at least try your best and, and make your best guess. I'm going to purposely get this one wrong so that I can show you what it's going to look like when you click submit. It's not going to give me any immediate feedback, correct or incorrect, for a reason. It's just trying to figure out what you already know of the course material. If you need any help with how to utilize the tools, especially in this case with a graphing question, you can click the tools help and it'll show you how to plot a point or draw a line or whatever you're working on for that specific question. You can also utilize whatever resources you have available to you on a question by question basis. When you're finished with this initial knowledge check, Again, it's going to personalize the path for you. So I'm going to skip the rest of this knowledge check to show you what that's going to look like. Right when you finish the initial knowledge check, it's going to give you this initial knowledge check report. The pie chart in Alex is going to be kind of your home base. The shaded part of each slice shows you what you already know, and the gray area shows you what, you're, what you have yet to learn in the class. On my report, it says that I've mastered 29 of the 151 topics in the course, which is about 19% of, of the course which is awesome. Coming in even knowing 1% of the course is amazing. You can also click on any of these slices to see what you already know. So in the math and physics section, you can see that I have some yellow color already filled in. I already knew 15 of the 29 topics total, meaning that I have 14 left to learn throughout the semester. Measurement matter, I also came in knowing 13 out of the 49, but you'll notice some of these other ones like hydrocarbons, I came in knowing nothing about, which is great. Your teacher is going to teach you that throughout the semester, as well as Alex is going to teach you that through the topics. When you click continue, it's going to take you into your student homepage. Now, every other day you log into Alex, this is the, the homepage that's going to pop up. In this case, you'll see that same pie chart with the same information on each of the slices. That is so that throughout the semester, you can see your knowledge filling in. And hopefully throughout the semester, you can get that all the way to 100% and totally filled in with color, knowing all of the topics that are in your course. Again, the first few times you log into Alex, it's going to prompt you with some of these little pop-ups just to show you the different um, ways to view the timeline view or the pie view and so on. A couple other things about your student account is that in the top right corner, you can see your name up here with the settings as well as the Alex help. If you ever need any support in Alex, we have a support team where you can chat, call on the phone, or send them an email. In the top left corner, you'll see your student menu to navigate around your course. So you'll see things like the grade book, you can do review in there, you can see your list of assignments, and so on. The assignments that are due for the week are always going to pop up on this left side, whether that's the adaptive path, which coincides with the adaptive um, pie chart that you see here, 
or you might see some homework tests or quiz assignments, just depends on what your, your professor has put into your course. It will all be on the left side of what is coming due and what you need to work on. In this course, I'm only prompted to work on my path, which is the adaptive side, which connects to this pie chart. When I click start my path, we call it a path for a reason. Based off that initial knowledge check report, Alex was able to determine my path. My path might look different than another student's path. My first topic that it's giving me is additive property of equality with integers. And that is because it's my most ready to learn topic, meaning that I have all the prerequisite knowledge in order to get that, that skill um, done. All of the students in my same course might have different personalized paths for them. You'll notice that this is, this is a path left to right, showing you your most ready to learn topic first. If you wanna jump around and work on something else, you can always do that as well, but Alex has personalized this for a reason. When you're working in the adaptive side of Alex or on an Alex topic, you do have to answer multiple questions correct in order to move on. In this case, if I get a few of these questions correct or incorrect, I'll show you how my um, bar is building throughout the time. So if I click check, you can see that I got that question correct and it's asking me to move on to the next one. In this case, if I get this question also correct, I'll show you that you get double credit for getting two in a row correct. So now I only have to answer maybe one more. If I can get it another one, I can get double credit again. But let's just say that I get this question purposely incorrect. Let's say that I put it as negative eight. When I check it, it's only gonna take away one of those from the loading bar for me. If you don't know how to do this question, you can always utilize the resources down the side as well as the explanation. You'll notice when you use the explanation, it's going to give you the exact numbers that you were just working on and that you were confused about. It's gonna take you through the entire explanation and give you the answer. When you go back, you will have to answer a different instance of this question, but it's really gonna help you understand what you got incorrect. When you keep going, um, you're gonna to have to answer a couple more questions correct in order to keep moving on. In this case, I'll just show you very quickly what it's going to look like when you finish a topic. I just realized that I got this question incorrect when I was trying to do it correct. So I'm gonna recheck my question and then I'm gonna keep moving on so that I can show you what it's going to look like when you finish a topic. This one is negative one, check. And I got double credit for that because I got two in a row correct. So it's gonna show me that I learned that topic. And then if you hit continue your path, it would just move you on to the next topic. If I return to my homepage, I do wanna show that now I have that dark yellow filled in because I, I had already mastered 15 of the topics in my knowledge check and I have learned one more since then. Throughout the semester, you might be prompted with more, more knowledge checks. That's to see if you're retaining the knowledge that you are learning throughout the semester and make it the darker color rather than the lighter color. So throughout the semester, you'll see that all of these will fill in with color and build all the way up to hopefully 100% of your pie by the end of the semester. We hope you enjoy using Alex and find a lot of success with it.